Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. In this video, we're talking about the effect of camera tilt when flying an FPV quadcopter. Now, first of all, you might be wondering why do quadcopters even have up tilt on the camera? That's what it's called, up tilt, because it's tilted up. So the reason why is because quadcopters need to tilt forward in the direction of flight. So when the quadcopter is tilting forward, the camera has to be tilted upward. So basically the camera's level when you're flying forward so you can see where you're going because that's kind of important. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about the three biggest effects that up tilt has on your quadcopter flying experience. And those are that it's going to look weird when you're hovering because you'll be looking upwards. Secondly, the more up tilt you have, the faster you're going to fly. Not that you couldn't fly faster with lower up tilt, but you will tend to fly faster normally if you have more up tilt. And lastly, if you have a lot of up tilt, your controls are going to be different. So you're gonna have more roll instead of more yaw if you have high up tilt. And I'm gonna show you and demonstrate all of those things right now. So let's jump into liftoff. Okay, here we are in liftoff. Uh, we're at the level called Hanover and my flight controller, uh, my quadcopter is just the uh, Ladrib Skyliner at totally stock. And these are my rates that I've changed it to. So just in case you wanna try and replicate this and follow along, this is uh, how I have my rates set up. I'm gonna use my up and down arrows to adjust the camera tilt. So right now we have 20 degrees of camera tilt. So first let's uh, try out how things look when we're hovering. So let's just kind of hover around and move like really slowly here. So we're, we're kind of out in the open. Let's get closer to this tree. So notice we're moving like very slowly. If you look at the top right hand uh, corner, you'll see that our speed is eight miles per hour. Okay, so we're just kind of, let's, let's see if we can get it to zero. Let's see what that looks like. So two miles per hour, that's, that's pretty close. And now we're starting to move backwards actually. So we're moving two miles per hour backwards. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna land here. And then let's bring the camera tilt all the way up to 45 degrees. We could go higher, but 45 is like kind of the, the kind of the maximum normal uh, up tilt or maximum up tilt if you want to go fast. Like if you go if you go higher than that, things are really going to start to get weird. So like most people race at 45 degree up tilt. So look at look at look at how the, how different this looks. So right now, I mean, we're already going fast, uh, relatively fast compared to how we were before. Like we're, at, you know, well, right now we're at 13, 14 ish miles per hour. So like if we want to, let's try and get to, get it to a dead stop. Okay, I'm getting ah, I'm getting close to that wall. So two miles per hour. Now we're going back the other way, and I'm just trying to hover here. Okay, so notice how 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 much I'm looking upwards. Ah, how much I'm looking up. I'm like I'm looking up at the at the roof of this thing. And if it, it seems really weird, like it's very unnatural. So this is why if you're just getting started, I don't think you should have very much up tilt because things will look weird. So yeah, you really have to get used to things looking strange. A little uh, pro tip for you. Um, it, when you're coming in to land, you really want to look at the bottom of the screen. Look at the bottom of the screen uh, right right near my uh, the, the transmitter overlay. Those are, That's the transmitter sticks, by the way. Those, those, those two squares right there with the X's or the crosses that those are the transmitters uh, transmitter stick overlay and so I mean well with 45 degree up tilt you really can't even see where you're going when you're trying to land but basically you want to keep your landing zone in the very bottom of your screen and then bring it on down kind of like that sort of not not quite again this is not exactly how it's going to be in real life but uh, pretty close Okay, now let's talk about the speed factor here. So we're still at 45 degrees. Let me get to this uh, straight away to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, well, you can already kind of see. If you look at the, the speedometer in the right-hand corner, um, it, you can see it's, you know, we're, go we're going pretty fast. It kind of, it looks like we're going pretty fast. Uh, also, notice my throttle and my throttle stick. Um, it's, it's getting up there. It's pretty high. Now, if I want, I, I mean, I could go full throttle. This is full throttle. And I can see where I'm going and everything. Let's go back the other way. Let's turn this thing. Whoa, let's turn this thing around. And let me bring it back down here. So let's see what our max speed is. So we're talking, you know, with 45 degree up tilt, um, and I'm trying to maintain a pretty constant altitude. We're at like 77 
miles per hour. Okay, so pretty fast, and we can totally see what's in front of us. Like, no problems there, okay? And let's bring the up tilt down, let's, or let's take it back down to uh, 20 degrees, which is very low. Uh, typically, for freestyle, I'll probably fly like maybe 30 degrees. All right, so check this out. So now we're just kind of cruising, and think you know it looks good like our sight picture like what our image what the image looks like it looks very natural um, and we're going at about uh, 36 miles per hour you know maybe if I tilt it forward a bit more give it more throttle because you have to do that at the same time in order to not lose altitude so if I'm picking up speed I mean we're you know that's like maximum comfortable speed and I can actually still, I can look at the top of the screen and see where I'm going. And we're only going like 50 miles per hour. So the, the up tilt limits your speed because you just can't see where you're going. Like I could, I could point the quad down and give it full throttle and I can still go at the same speed. I just can't see where I'm going, which is not great. So when you're practicing flying, if you get to the point where you notice that when you're trying to go really fast you're trying to give it a little you know little bursts little punch outs and in order to do that your quad has to be pointed all the way down to where you can't even see where you're going that probably means you should raise your up tilt a little bit because you just want to fly faster than your camera tilt angle will allow and finally let's talk about the handling characteristics when we change the up tilt now right now we are at 20 degrees of tilt Okay, which is it's still, you know, it's, it's 20 degrees more than totally level, which is pretty common with like uh, cheap camera type drones or maybe even like tiny whoops or something like that. Something that's made to fly like very slowly. Um, so let's do some closer in handling here. Now, look at the look at the little dots on the on the stick overlay, those two boxes in the center center bottom of the screen. Um, if you look at those, you'll notice, and this this will change depending on how your rates are set up, you know, how your stick uh, controls are set up, your rates and your sensitivity and everything. But you can see that I'm using um, a good amount of yaw, which is this this motion, this stick right here, in order to turn because my quadcopter is relatively flat. So if I want to do a tight turn, I'm going to be using quite a bit of yaw. Okay. Also, you can take a look here if we if we get up higher, if we look at the horizon and kind of keep it like in the middle of the screen and we do a roll. OK, that was that was kind of fast. Let me slow it down. I mean, we're going to we're going to fall. So you got to get up pretty high, especially if you do this in real life. So we're looking at the horizon and then let's do a half a roll and see how we're pointed down like that. That's because when we're rolling the quadcopter, but the quadcopter is tilted, remember? So if we if we change the view here, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you see, we're going forward. To us, this might look normal. Our altitude is kind of, yeah, it's kind of staying the same. But the quadcopter is actually tilted forward like that. So when we roll, actually, I'm not sure if the camera is going to follow it properly, but let's get up a little bit higher. So we're getting up a little bit higher here. Okay, so when we roll... You see the quadcopter is is actually uh, now it's pointing like the opposite way and it's pointing at an angle. So that's and your camera's kind of following that. So it's sort of a it's kind of an optical illusion that your camera is tilted but it looks like you're flying normally. And the more the more up tilt you have, I'm increasing the up tilt here, the more drastic it, it will be. So if we do the same thing here, let me change the view. I'm pressing the V key to change the view so if we bring it up here and we're looking at the horizon kind of keeping it you know about kind of a natural look in the middle of the screen and we do a half roll whoa you know we're like pointed the other direction crazy because again we're at 45 degree uh, up tilt so our quadcopter is actually at a 45 degree angle so when we rotate this we're not we're not just like doing a flat kind of flip or a flat kind of roll and that's actually why another little pro tip here uh as if i'm a pro to do like a sort of a coordinated roll you'll actually have to use your yaw as well as your roll together and it varies 
how how much of each you have to use varies depending on how you have your rates set up so let's get back into the camera view here so if i want to have the horizon like just rotate kind of like like it would in sort of like an airplane uh, then i actually have to use both controls to get that to happen and maybe not even so much yeah not so much roll so a little bit less roll there and then it'll work out it'll work out nicely and that could be important if you want to if you want to do like if you're filming uh, if you have a GoPro on your quadcopter and you're filming and you want it to look like a, a nice coordinated roll then you're gonna need to practice putting in the right amount of yaw and the right amount of roll in order to get it to look like that and you, you can do it slowly as well so again just practice 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 so that is a lot of how it's going to look that there's that aspect but also for handling so if you're into racing or just any really any kind of flying but especially racing if you're doing more technical flying um, what you need to keep in mind is that you will need to put more roll when you have more up tilt so if you look at the sticks here it may not be like super exaggerated but I'm gonna have to put a lot more roll in to do a sharp turn as well as give it more throttle because um, because your quadcopter is at such a high angle that it needs more throttle in order to not descend but that's kind of another another uh, lesson in itself so uh, so we're doing these turns here and you see when I turn my quadcopter I need to put in more roll and actually less yaw less yaw because if i do if i put in some yaw like here like for example here so like we could get going straight here okay so and we're not falling down and then i could just yaw and it's like oh my gosh what's happening but you know what it's it's we're gonna end up staying in the same line now i i almost descended too much there and smashed into the concrete but it's not actually going to change the direction that the quadcopter is moving so if we do that that same kind of thing and i'm going down this road here and instead of giving it yaw, I give it some roll. Look at that, we're actually changing the direction of the quadcopter. If you're familiar with uh, planes, this would be kind of like a flying wing or a, a bank and yank type of flying because you really could fly uh, pretty much just with the um, roll. It's, it's sloppy. Um, but you could you could do it with the with the roll and the pitch that is not just the roll but the roll and the pitch you can fly around I mean I'm not even touching the throttle or anything um, but it, again if, if we give it that yaw it looks all crazy but we're still actually going in the in the same direction and just to compare it when we have very little tilt we can do we'll go back to 20 degrees uh, but it's is it really even more exaggerated if you have less tilt but let's say I was gonna do like I was just doing and doing uh, sharp turns around trees let's see how different that is so for that look how I'm giving it again I don't know if you can really tell super well but I can I can tell with how how it feels I'm giving it a lot more yaw because I need to really swing the quadcopter around it's kind of almost like almost like you're swinging the tail around sort of except quadcopters don't really have tails um, instead of instead of the quadcopter already being pitched forward and I just give it roll. Yeah. So in a way, when you have high up tilt, your roll becomes more like yaw. Yeah, I think that, I hope that made sense. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you again very soon.